So me and my dad was uh, joking around the other day. It's, it's funny how every time you watch a YouTube video that uh, they already have everything laid out. Everything goes to plan. Uh, and it's like they don't grab the wrong tool. Everything's just smooth. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. I got everything laid out. So let's see how it goes. So I upgraded my situation here. Uh, as if you watch my other videos, you know that I used the aluminum ladder. Uh, it was it it done the job, but it was kind of weird. Uh, it didn't work great. So uh, I bought these little brackets here off of uh, Amazon, and uh, you know it just bolts to your log here, and you get it level. And I went to uh, my local metal shop and got some uh, one inch square tubing. Uh, it's an eighth inch stick, and uh, it's about thirty dollars a stick. So uh, I got that, and uh, I'm gonna try to uh, improve the uh, the sled that the uh, saw slides on when you're milling the board. So let's we'll see how it goes. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. I'm gonna edit that out probably. man <laughs> so you can't plan everything out so I measured this and it's supposed to be an inch and a half so uh, I don't know what the deal is I'm gonna have to go get the uh, side grinder and uh, do a little modification Alright, so the sled will just slide across this. I have to adjust my chainsaw so that it'll miss this. So I'm going to do that and then we'll start cutting. That was nice. Uh, one thing that I want, that I notice I want to do is I'm probably, I don't know, I may cut these off. Um, I don't know. I have to think about that to see if it's uh, see if it'll work. Anyway, it, it worked pretty good. Uh, these things are a little heavier than the uh, the the ladder, but. One thing happened with the ladder when I got in the middle, it kind of wanted to start bouncing, and it didn't do that with this. So that's another another good thing about it. But it's, I'm pretty happy with it. It worked pretty good. So.
I gotta adjust my saw for my one inch boards and mill this thing up. Um, I'm almost done. I'm getting there. I had these 12 inch boards here that I, I milled out. I was using those to build a stall on the other side for the, the goats. So I'll probably put a, a gate across right there. Uh, I'll put some uh, my implements in here. And uh, I got my backhoe here. Uh, it's pretty big. Takes up most of that bay. So I'll have to see if i want to leave it here or do something else but all i got left as far as boarding up is finishing that stall boarding the back up here and i uh, haven't decided if i wanted to put boards up here or not uh, i'm going to leave this side open for uh milling boards when i need to so i got another log here that i need to cut to get boards to finish up this back side here and uh, i was going to come down this morning and seal up my roof but it started raining so i'll have to put that off again all right let's get started I like this method a lot better than I do with the, using the ladder. It's just, uh, it's a little quicker, it's easier to get level. It doesn't teeter as much. And uh, when you get in the middle, it doesn't start shaking. So that's definitely uh, an upgrade if you're uh, considering doing this. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, these these pops were, about, this tubing was about $30 for a 24 foot piece. And they cut it in half for me so I can do, uh, it might be stretching it to do 12 foot boards, but I don't know that I'll need to do that. But uh, anyway, it, it works pretty good. So uh, let's cut some more boards. I'm trying to decide what I could have done different. I'm still trying to learn how to read the logs and what's the best way to cut them. Uh, this log had a bow in it like this. And also in the center, it got narrow right here. And uh, so I, I put the bow up probably, I don't know. Uh, I thought that was the best thing to do. But it looks like uh, this board may be like a four inch plank. Uh, even though I'm gonna have a lot of waste on the ends, um, the center, you know, maybe four or six inches, uh, four or six inches wide. So it's gonna be a lot of waste there. Once I get a couple boards down, the uh, it should get even. Um, so I don't know, I'm just, I'll just keep going. Learn as I go. This is Sprinkles. She's our barn cat. She Kills all the rats and chipmunks and squirrels. 
squirrels, rabbits, whatever she gets a hold of. She's a small cat, but she's a, she's a hunter, killer. Dogs don't mess with her. She follows me around like a dog, because it's a, a hundred yards or so from the barn and she followed me down here. looking at it to see where I can come and get an eight. So you want to put your, yeah. put your mark on that. <laughs> I got this pouch on. You ain't yeah. using it for I anything? Pouch on to keep everything organized and I throw it in the trailer. <laughs> down in it but what's that she's in it but she's uh got this knot yeah here so don't worry a little warpy jaw i think it'd be fine well, i think you are okay but yeah So I seen this log here had bad spot in it. And this was the uh, bottom log that had cut off the, the tree that had fell. But you don't know until you cut it what, what you're gonna get. So it's got some uh, holes in it here. I can still use it. I mean, for what I'm doing, it's, it's fine. Uh, looks like it don't go any deeper than that. So that's good. So this tree's about uh, I don't know, let me get a tape measure. So this tree is about a foot in diameter. And it mills a lot better. I mean, it's still a lot of work, but it, it mills better than those larger ones. Uh, the ones that the one that this board come off of was so big that my bar wouldn't go through and it just It was it was a mess uh, Anyway, I'm gonna keep uh, keep cutting this tree up so I can Get on to the next one. Oh, and uh, I noticed that um, <laughs> The goats had debarked these trees for me. It's kind of odd because they don't they won't chew on the bark uh, when the trees upright but you lay it down and they cleaned it up pretty good. Uh, I'd heard if you drag these logs, it gets uh, dirt in the bark and it dull your chainsaw. Uh, I used my tractor to move them around, but anyway, they cleaned them for me. So I might roll them over so they can uh, do the other side.
all right so i got to patch these holes up here uh, so when they uh was tearing the pallets apart they set it on top of that metal frame and the some uh, threaded bars came through and poked holes in it so i'm gonna tap those down with a hammer and uh put some tape on it and uh i'm gonna tape the seams here uh even though it's overlapped this far it's probably fine but i'll run a bead of tape and then i'll run another bead here where i have the pieces uh bolted together so i got a couple of different kinds of tape here this is pretty thin but uh it's just dryer vent insulation tape and uh this stuff's a little thicker but i'll probably put it on the holes uh I don't know. We'll see how it goes. After I rolled these over, the goats come back down, and uh, I was watching what they were doing, and they were eating. Uh, they were eating the bark off of this tree, this tree, and uh, a little bit off of this one, but they wasn't touching those. And uh, so the bark is a lot more uh, coarse. So I guess that's why they don't eat the the bottom of the trees. And this is the top of the tree, and uh, they clean the bark off of the. Uh, the whole log almost uh, and now in the gully where I dumped all my branches I noticed they had chewed the bark off of uh, off of those as well so uh, I, I was reading where it says that if they're chewing uh, removing bark off of trees then uh, it was uh, because they wasn't getting enough vitamins so uh, I'll look into that I got them a mineral block but I saw uh, a tub at my local uh, feed store that that I might get for them um, see if that helps so uh, I'm almost done I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do on this side uh, I wanted to leave this end open for my sawmill um, but Mark and I are probably gonna get us a, a sawmill um, in a three or four months or so and uh, I'm definitely not going to be using a chainsaw anymore. So, uh, and we'll probably leave it at his place. So I'll probably haul these trees to his place and uh, cut them all up. Because I'm going to be putting a fence up my driveway. And uh, so, anyway, uh, I may end up, I may end up boarding these up. And uh, just making more storage room uh, for stuff like uh, my tractor equipment. Uh, I got a gate to uh, to put in there to uh, put goats up if I need to, like when they're having babies. Uh, I got to do that too. But I got the roof sealed, uh, and all I got left is is figure out what I'm gonna do over here and uh, put put my uh, stain on the outside of the uh, on the outside boards. Kind of seal it up a little bit. Uh, if you notice these like three boards here the the pine sap is still seeping out so I can't really char it so I'll uh, I may 
try one more time before I put oil on it we'll see how it goes so another project almost wrapped up let's see what's next <laughs> 